Hi, welcome to the practice test video of CCSK Domain 3. Hope you had a chance uh, to review my uh, Domain 3 video. If you did not yet get a chance to review that, I suggest to go through that video first uh, for better understanding. Then only you will be able to understand the questions and uh, be able to answer them and relate with the domain. So under many uh, privacy laws and regulations, the first data can only be shared with another country if the target country's law provides what? So this question is related to the privacy uh, laws and regulations. Um, basically, it talks about uh, when one country can share the data with the target country. Um, so what it should be able to achieve or what it should be able to provide uh, that is the question so think through it uh, give you few seconds Okay, so um, is it access control? I think uh, this is the usual practice that anything which is uh, stored or uh, being available in the cloud um, or anywhere, it is supposed to uh, be access controlled. Uh, nobody should be able to access that. Um, etiquette level of protection. Okay, maybe. Audit report. Um, of course, in the cloud, everywhere, uh, we need the uh, audit report in any case. So this is a very, very generic stuff. Full encryption and secure data storage. Uh, okay. Uh, if the data is sensitive, yes, encryption has to be supported. If um, this, uh, and, and uh, you know, the storage has to be secure. But what about the etiquette level of protection? Because many privacy laws, requires that the national law in the country receiving personal data have similar requirement. Um, so if, if it is, um, for example, if it is Europe and it is sending the data to uh, other country, then what is supposed to do? It has uh, some laws like GDPR, but here uh, any receiving country, it is supposed to have, you know, um, this etiquette level of protection which can uh, meet the level of GDPR then only uh, EU can share the data which country is uh, going to which country or reason does not have an omnibus um, personal privacy law or regulation Russia it has one regulation yeah it has um, you know one omnibus uh, Europe it also has the omnibus Argentina um, they are still in uh, in progress United States it is uh, as we discussed in domain 3 video so United States uh, does not have any omnibus uh, personal privacy law because uh, they address the privacy in US, um, you know, um, in patchwork of the sectorial, uh, federal, and is through the state laws. So there is no one umbrella. They offer the same level of uh, security through the uh, federal and state laws. Bit by bit, imaging of the cloud data for forensic purpose uh, is generally what? required by law yes of course up to the cloud consumer cloud customer extremely expensive difficult or impossible so yes in cloud this is the this is the answer for cloud because uh, um, because in cloud uh, you do not have hardware in your control where you can make the bit-by-bit -bit imaging uh, processing. 
uh, copying the data bit by bit uh, you don't have access to that hardware so it is it is very difficult and impossible to do that in the cloud so whenever you see such kind of question uh, related to bit by bit imaging uh, for the forensic purpose that is the answer yeah, because cloud customer does not typically have access to their uh, local hardware in the cloud data center uh, for that purpose what is the term used to describe um, a legal purpose for opposing counsel to acquire private data documents for the purpose of litigation what is that for audit for attestation for e-discovery or for surveillance so purpose of litigation is the key that is the keyword here so you need something for the purpose of litigation so e-discovery is the only answer because when we when we collect such kind of data um, we need e-discovery to present uh, the evidences for the litigation purpose a thorough review of um, of contract is an especially important form of due diligence in cloud managed service arrangements because uh, many cloud services are unclear maybe um, or may not be non negotiable okay not secure or illegal so we discussed in domain 3 uh, that um, the due, dil due diligence in the cloud managed uh, services um, we need thorough review of the contract um, because when the contracts are non-negotiable when the contracts are non-negotiable it becomes very different uh, to uh, to support them so it is it is very important uh, to review uh, thoroughly any contract um, especially those uh, which are the non negotiable though we should always try to negotiate but some are obviously non negotiable especially the public clouds um, so that is the answer if your uh, organization contracts with a public provider with a cloud provider to manage personal data then who is generally liable for any damage um, caused by unauthorized disclosure of that data under most privacy laws so mostly um, in in the cloud who is collecting your data is the liable for that because cloud service provider is not collecting your data cloud subject or a data subject is the one uh, who is providing that data so it is of course not the one cloud broker is is the distractor here it is your organization which is collecting the data okay so um, they they remain liable for any damages caused by any unauthorized disclosure of that data in gdpr um, so this is this is a different uh, question may be um, asked in a different way in gdpr what is not true it applies to all entities uh, processing eu eu citizen personal data so we discussed in domain 3 video that uh, gdpr is applicable for all the uh, countries wherever eu residents data is being processed so gdpr clearly says that it applies within the eu and uh, the commonwealth so it is it is uh, applicable for all whosoever is processing the data thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe for more thank you